Today I'm going to show you my top 10 tips to make awesome coffee at home. Not only am I going to show you how to make coffee at home on a budget, but I'm also going to show you how to get the most out of your gear and the most out of your coffee beans. I'm also going to touch base on what coffee beans you should be buying and what coffee beans you should be staying away from. Hey, my name is Mike. I'm a barista and previous owner of an award-winning specialty coffee shop in Europe. In the past, I've trained dozens of baristas and also showed people how to make good espresso, cappuccino and coffee in general at home. This video is part of the Coffee Hacks series. Besides these how-to videos, I make travel and lifestyle vlogs sharing the experience of us expanding our business from Austria to the United States here in Miami Beach. Every year we travel to over 12 countries and we share our best off videos from those locations. So be sure to subscribe right now and hit that notification bell right down there. All right, so let's get right into it. Here are my top 10 tips for better coffee at home. The number one tip I can give anybody that wants to drink better coffee at home is to buy fresh coffee beans. Don't get the store brand or just any coffee beans off the shelf. Maybe go to your specialty coffee shop around the corner or order your coffee beans online, but just make sure that you get fresh coffee beans from a third wave specialty roaster. Tip number two, grind your beans yourself. Grind your coffee beans at home. Ideally, you grind your coffee beans seconds before you actually start brewing your coffee. Now, if you don't have a grinder at home, one of the things you can do is go to your local store that have these big coffee grounders in the shop just pour your coffee beans in there and grind them to the coarseness that you require for brewing at home. Top tip number three, if you can't grind your coffee beans in the store or there's no store close by with a grinder inside, you can use your blender at home to grind your coffee bean. Now, obviously this isn't gonna work for espresso, but it will work for drip coffee uh, brewing methods like a normal drip machine, a French press, or a pour over. Now I know, I know you coffee nerds are freaking out right now. This is an emergency solution. So let's say you're at home, your coffee grinder broke, you're in an Airbnb that doesn't have a coffee grinder. This is always a solution that you can take as an emergency thing, but you shouldn't be in an emergency situation. So if you wanna see a good coffee grinder, check the description box down below for my recommendations of grinders. Top tip number four is water quality. I cannot stress enough how important water is or high quality water is for a good cup of coffee. Now in certain areas of the world, tap water will be fine. You always have to check the water in your area, meaning how many solubles are in the water, what is the water hardness. If you want further information on how to find out what quality your water has and what quality water is good for coffee, check the link in the description down below for a detailed manual. Another solution is to get bottled water. Now for my espresso machine, I use the Poland spring water that's recommended by La Mazzocco. You can also use Aquapana, which is actually bottled just about a mile away from where the machines are built. Aquapana is very expensive and Poland Spring costs anywhere between $1.60 and $2 per gallon. A further important point is water temperature. Now a lot of people that are making pour over or drip coffee will boil their water and pour it straight over. But you actually should use a water temperature of anywhere between 90 and 92 degrees Celsius or anywhere between 194 and 197 Fahrenheit. Top tip number five when it comes to making coffee at home is to weigh your coffee beans and weigh your water. I use this scale at home and I'll link it down below. I'll also link two other scales that are a little pricier but have more features, but a basic scale like this will absolutely do the job. When it comes to proportions, it all depends on what coffee beans you're using and what kind of coffee beverage that you're making. If we're talking about filter or drip coffee, it'll be one part coffee and 10 parts water. So it's one, two, 10. Number six, use high quality whole milk. If you want to have some delicious coffee or you want to have delicious cappuccino, you have to use a high quality milk. Top tip number seven, if you want to make a cappuccino at home and you don't have a steam one to foam your milk, you can use a French press to do it. It's very simple, you heat up milk, you can do it in the microwave, pour it in your French press and pump the milk with your French press. If you want more details on that, I actually made a video and it will pop up right up here. Top tip number eight for better coffee at home is cold brewed coffee. Now cold brewed coffee is very trendy at the moment, but what many people don't know is that you can actually make it at home very easy. All you have to do is take a pot with cold water, 
put your coffee grinds in there, coarsely ground coffee, and then just leave it sitting in the pot for about 12 hours. And after that, you just filter it through paper filters or whatever filter that you have, and et voila, you have cold brew at home. A pro tip for you, if you wanna make some nitro cold brew, you can use a whipping siphon. You just pour in your water, put in your coffee grounds, put uh, two capsules into the whipping siphon, and then put it in the fridge for two hours. Et voila, nitro cold brew. Cold brew has a very long shelf life, so you can actually make it like two or three days in advance if you wanna make it for friends that are coming to a party. Now, if you've made yourself a nice batch of cold brew, here's a top tip for an amazing cocktail. Just take one part cold brew, one part tonic water, and add a little bit of gin, topped off with a few sprigs of rosemary, makes an amazing cocktail. Now, if you want an alcohol-free version, just leave away the gin, it tastes amazing either way. You can maybe add a little bit of simple syrup with mint taste to give it a little bit of a sweet edge. Top tip number 10 for better coffee at home actually hasn't got anything to do with drinking coffee. It's reusing the coffee ground. Now, once you've brewed yourself some drip coffee or you've made yourself espresso, you usually throw away the coffee ground, but there are quite a few things that you can do with it. One of my favorite things to do with coffee ground is to mix it with coconut oil and use it as a scrub in the shower. Another thing you can do with it is to remove odors from the drain of your sink. Just put it into the sink and flush it down with a lot of hot water and it will actually remove any odor or residue within the pipe. Before I end this video, I still have a bonus tip for you guys and it is how to make cappuccino and latte art at home without one of these bad boys. If you wanna see that, just hit the link popping up right above. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any other coffee related questions or questions to this channel, be sure to leave them down in the comment section below. If you enjoyed the video, smash that thumbs up button, subscribe and hit the notification bell. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a great day.